Next on the agenda, uh, without a doubt, uh, probably uh, one of the most exciting pieces um, of, of film to come out recently. Something that I know, is like just the pop culture fan in me, all about it. Huge fan, Avengers Age of Ultron. It's going to be, it was an amazing movie. Yeah. But there were a lot of like plot holes, I thought, in the film. I think that is exactly how you describe a Josh Whedon film. <laughs> uh, and I have no problems with that. Except for Cabin uh, in the Woods. We had no plot holes at all. No, none whatsoever. <laughs> that movie was all, <laughs> yeah. all over the place. Uh, <laughs> but uh, my first, I want to talk about our first, okay, so we saw it. Yes. Brandon, what did you think? I loved a lot of the movie. I loved seeing an IMAX 3D. I thought it was amazing. Um, but there were a lot of like plot holes that uh, I would have busted out my rim on. On a, a on a scale of one to ten, where would you put? It? Uh, it's, I wanted, a like, did you, it's a, a seven. seven. It's a seven. Hey. Yeah. It's wow. A seven. a seven. It's a seven. Okay. I, I'm gonna. We, I thought it's we. Were, I thought we were gonna just. It's critical. I thought we were gonna like Josh Whedon. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but okay. Why? Give me the reasons why it was a seven and not an eight or a nine or a ten. Well, I mean, okay. So you know. Okay, so the white guy from the Avengers, or actually the Shield series, the the guy who was killed off yes, in the last Avengers, yes. uh, never showed Phil up. Phil Coulson, yes, Coulson. never showed up. Are you up to date on the show? I am not. There is a very interesting tie-in that I. They I, had to do that. They had to, yeah, because yeah, because they created this universe. Yeah, they yeah, created they this universe where the movies. Of, I mean, think about this from the perspective. Correlates, and that's a good thing. But think about it. I've never thought about it like this. But, if you are a writer on Shield, mm -hmm. on the the Agents of Shield show, yeah. like you're a writer, you're responsible for that universe. You got to be talking to James Every, Whedon. Everything mm. you do is predicated on some other shit. Like if if they decide to do something crazy, yeah. they're like all the all the aircraft carriers are now purple. Well, yeah. Like you got you like shit. Like yeah. you got to do that. Yeah. But that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's I, I guess that's purple. kind of an issue because I feel like Joss Whedon likes to make it his own story, not necessarily the story that's actually real to what's happening. Apparently there was a big kerfuffle with Josh Kerfuffle. That's a word, Google it. Uh, Joss. With jo jo how much? Joss. 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 Josh, I love the man. I'm not trying to diss him. <laughs> I just don't know how to say that name. Josh Whedon and, <laughs> and, and Marvel apparently had a big, a big disagreement about how they wanted to shape yeah. certain characters, specifically uh, Quicksilver. No, oh, yeah. And uh, the killing off of that. No, no, no. Just about where they wanted their characters to go. But apparently, the scene where um, spoilers. I'm saying that now. Just, well, we have just, to. You have to say it. Uh, the scene with Thor when he was in the water. Yeah. Uh, and he was trying to get answers. Yes. Apparently, that was an additional thirty minutes longer. Wow. And Marvel was like negative. Yeah. He was like yeah. so they. What he said was is that they they did the best that they could appeasing to both both parties, but he it apparently it left a very sour taste in his mouth. Yeah, uh, and that's one. I mean, there there yeah, are a lot of reasons. He's I don't know if you know this right now. He's like he dropped Twitter. Yeah. Uh, he's t he's what he no, said yeah. was he's in withdrawal right now. Well, he, wow. he's he doesn't going to want the uh, influences of everybody else contradicting what he was trying to do. Apparently he's he in the middle of the, Yeah, he's he's deep in a in a what he's calling like a writing phase where he's just yeah. gonna go black yeah. and come out with a new IP. Yeah. So to me that's very exciting. Um I I I, I mean yes the Civil War okay. Well no he is no he no he is done with Marvel. Yeah he's, he's done. yeah there's he's a done. whole new crew of guys. Yeah, yeah he's done. He's gonna make like his next Firefly, his next Buffy yeah. Vampire Slayer. Okay. That's what he's gonna do. I'm excited for that. Yeah. That's not what this is about. What about killing off Quicksilver? Is a, I, I I don't know how that affected him and Marvel. Yeah, yeah. But if you're talking about just like the plot point, yeah. I was okay with it. You're I okay knew with it. Again. Well okay. I does, does Quicksilver die? Who should have died? Uh, I don't know. Maybe uh, I, I think it would have been time for Tony Stark to take a dive. Just saying. Even though it's your, even though that's your boy, I'm just saying. Like he's got a big head. Man. He would have been gotta, okay with it. Yeah, yeah, he would have yeah, been okay yeah, with it though, yeah. because he's he's pushing himself further and further away from the franchise. Yeah, yep. As the movie ends, yeah. we all know he's leaving. He's, he's yeah, leaving. He's, we all he's, he's, yeah. Basically, yeah. what's happening is that he's he, they're they're in their third phase yeah. of what they're calling the, the MCU, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Mm -hmm. uh, we are we are at the tail end of the second end, which now issues the third. Yeah, I, I'm ninety nine point nine percent sure we're going to get a new Guardians of the Galaxy. Yes, that's, that's, uh, yeah, that's yeah. definitely, that's definitely happening. happening. That is definitely happening. 
Uh, we're also going to be getting we're going to see uh, another Captain America. We'll yeah. see Spider Man in that movie. Yes. There was a there was a lot of rumor, and I and I I honestly kind of bit into this. I thought Spider Man was going to be in this. I thought he was going to have a I little cameo. He might have maybe showed up. Here's well. why: the next movie is Civil War. Yes. Mm-hmm. Captain America: Civil War. Mm-hmm. For those of you who are not up on the comics. Uh, civil. He plays an integral part in that story. Yes. Yeah. He is not by any means uh, the star of it, but he's a key player in that story. I'm not going to ruin it for anyone who hasn't read it. Yeah. Um, but it would have been. It now would have been a good time to put him into that universe. I agree. But that's what the next movie is about. Mm-hmm. I think that's they're going to put him in, in that, and then there is a rumor that he's going to be a new Avenger. That's oh, that's cool. Yeah. But that makes sense. But. It will it not be play- Andy will- Garfield. Yeah. Thank you. It will. Yeah. Why? Do you know why? I don't know why. I'm gonna tell you. I do. <laughs> what I do know is that Andy Garfield looks a, is a lot older than he looks. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you that. that. Yeah. He is. I, okay. But it has let's, nothing to do with the age. Why he's not in this? Let's. In the no. No. Not at all. Let's start with. Uh, let's start with. I think Andy Garfield. I think it has Garfield. a lot to do with social media. Actually, do, why he's not in. Do it. we like? Oh no! I'm going to tell you why in a minute. I, uh, I actually enjoyed him in the first two movies. I that loved he was in. Andy Garfield. It was great. In him. I, I think as he was I, perfect. I, he, I, I liked him more than I liked him more than Tobey Maguire. Tobey yeah. Maguire. Yeah. I agree. I, I I don't know. Like I enjoy Tobey Maguire. I've got nothing against Tobey that Maguire. man. I felt Tobey happen? Maguire was Spider Man for me. I fell in love with him. Yeah. And I was so against until bringing someone else in, and then this Andy Garfield comes in killed and it. nailed it. Killed it. He's he only been it. really known for indie films. Too. Right. That's all he's he ever did, done. He did it way across the than universe and a couple other films. So. I I thought there was a sincerity to his performance. He yeah. played Peter Parker, man. Yeah. That's what it is. He did. He was when Peter, you play Spider Man is actually very easy to play. Yeah. It's Peter Parker. That's yeah. hard to play. That's hard yeah. to play. Mm-hmm. And um, I, I enjoyed the first two Spider-Man. I thought that you, you know what I mean. The, the Tobey yeah. Maguire universe. Mm-hmm. I enjoyed the first two. I did you enjoy Tobey though as Spider-Man? I, I well, did you not. know what it was? I'm, I'm now I did looking, not. I, I did it. I did in the first two. Did you? Yep. Okay. Yeah. It was the third one. Yeah. The goth. The Whoa. emo child of the the third movie was a, was a complete and yeah. utter clusterfuck disaster, disaster it was it was the key <laughs> the key to ruin problems. the key to <laughs> ruin <laughs> any <laughs> any comic book movie is to shove as many Characters cultural in at one yes point as do you can. remember the do you remember the scene the in the dancing? Spider-Man no Spider-Man oh. 2 do you remember the scene with Doc Ock when he gets the chainsaws and it's like the hand the arms are working and he's like cutting everybody up it's like right when he comes out and the arms are working. Yes. That oh, scene, okay. That okay. scene was taken from Army of Darkness or Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2. It was completely directed the same way Sam Raimi's directing, you know. Of course it was. Directed. It was Sam Raimi's. It was amazing. And like, I, I thought that was like a classic, like, you know, twist to what he's done to classic horror and this and that. The so. second Tobey Maguire Spider-Man film is arguably... Really my movie. favorite in those three. It was the best. It was. It was. It was, it was, it was like you can. You can. That will still hold weight with with anything mm-hmm. that comes out now. That Spider Man Two. My that, problem. It that Spider Man Two was better than this Spider Man Two. Yeah, oh, I agree. Oh, I agree. absolutely. I fucking Lully, that was going to be okay. So now there's now the amazing Spider-Man universe, yes. right? Yes. Uh, that is the Andy Garfield universe. Right. But that's over now. Yeah. It is. It is. But I want to. I want to yeah, do a yeah, recap. Yeah, yeah. I want to talk about these two films. Uh-huh. Uh, I want to talk about the first one. Okay. I thought it was a like if you were to do a standalone like a like a paperback like yeah. a, like a standalone story of Spider Man. You don't want to buy the comic books. You don't want to buy the universe. If you just want to tell this one succinct story of Spider-Man. Spider-Man 2 did it. This was the first yes. one. Yes. Uh, yes. Amazing. The first Amazing Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. With That one was a beautiful piece of film. Yeah. I love the costume. Mm-hmm. Um, they, they didn't go with uh, uh, Mary Jane. They went with her his first love. Yeah. Um, played by who should have been Mary Jane because she's a gorgeous redhead. Oh yeah. Um, I mean that film was perfect. Yeah. And then the second one did exactly what the third Tommy Toby Maguire film did. I think. Yeah. Which was they they just threw too much at it. So so going back to Age of Ultron. Yes, that is the worst segue I've ever heard. Yeah, but I but, but I have but, to. but we have, have to, to get that. I have to. Because, because, you know, that was what we wanted to talk about. But we, oh, I agree with you. You're we bypassed right. 
We jumped the fish. Yeah, yeah we, we did. We were like, oh, Spider Man's going to be the next yeah, one. Yeah, and that's what we But we, we don't lost even it. know that yet. We just, it's speculation. It's rumored. It's it's rumored. You're yeah. right. Yeah, that was a so, huge rumor tangent. It, yeah, and that's okay. That's fine. And if it doesn't happen, whatever. But, but Avengers. So, Avengers. Age of Ultron. Take it in. Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What I, I mean, what are we? I think this is why we veered on that topic yeah. because I didn't necessarily want to answer it. Yeah, but you um, should. I, yeah, no, I have to because I they to want because to know. Want you guys to. want to know. Yeah, you don't want to know. Uh, <laughs> but I'm gonna tell you. Yeah. Uh, I listen. I loved it. I I look at the Avengers films, um, kind of through the prism. Of, of like a childhood like joy like I, I'm not looking for Citizen Kane Never, yeah. Uh, yeah if I think about it hard there's a lot of plot holes mm -hmm. there's a whole lot of issues I had with the Black Widow yeah. uh, Incredible Hulk thing yeah. but but I also thoroughly enjoyed that they took a minute to slow down the pacing mm -hmm. and yeah. give me some funny yeah. and give me give me a little heart uh listen if the listen if the had credits had rolled yeah. like all the way through and at the very end, you saw Banner and her on an island. Yeah, I would have been okay. That, with that. I would have been okay with that. I would have been okay with that. No, not with that. No, <laughs> not, not, not with that. I, I honestly felt the first. Can you imagine I, a Hulk in puberty? Yeah, yeah, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's terrible. Like, listen, that's, and that's yeah, rage. You just, yeah, 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 it's like yeah, me on a awful. Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> wants that. Nobody wants that. I honestly felt the first ten minutes, maybe fifteen minutes of the movie. What did you think of the opening sequence? I well, I felt like they, I felt like they, I felt like they didn't want to be there. The actors, like I felt like they all felt out of place. Everything didn't fall in the sink. I won't like it, it. Took like literally like 10, 15 minutes for to them get the to, rhythm to get the rhythm. Like yeah. the rhythm was completely off, and which like, is weird because that was not that was not that would not be the take that I would have taken as a director or as in film making a movie. And like honestly, I felt like the first ten minutes. They were not wanting to be there, not wanting to do it anymore, and then it fell into. It sand. felt forced. It felt forced. Yeah. It felt very forced. But that's what I got. You know, I mean, maybe not everybody gets that, but I, I, I felt like I saw that in the film process that was being made. So, you know, that's that's what I got. I liked, uh, I liked, the, I liked the action from the open, opening yeah. sequence. I will, I will say this: yeah. is that, and like, I don't. I don't necessarily agree with you, yeah. but when I saw the opening sequence, I, there was something. It felt sleepy. There was something. With, sleepy. There was something there where I was like, "Well, how do you start this right? Yeah, yeah. Like, how do you like? It's easy to get into it. Yeah. But how do you? Well, the how last, do you the last movie, the Easter egg was then like, wasn't it them eating Shorma, at a diner? Shorma. They're eating pizza yeah. at a diner. Or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, it makes sense. They're oh, it's done. We don't have to do much. We can eat pizza and play. Yeah. Pizza. So they just got so, right into it. Yeah. Um, what did we think of um, the gentleman who's in the blacklist? Yeah. Who played uh, the villain, the pro, you know, the protagonist? Uh, help me out, James, James, Spader. Spader. James Spader. James Spader. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you. James Spader. I, there we go. To be James Spader you, as as Ultron. Ultron. As Ultron. Yeah. James Spader to me was the we, reason I watched the movie. Yeah, like, I, I was almost, super. I excited. almost felt like I was watching Walter White in Breaking Bad. Very similar. Like very evil, very sinister, yet had. A I want to give you guys a little fun fact. Yeah. Uh, remember in the beginning sequence when Quicksilver, not when Quicksilver meet and his sister meets Ultron for the first time, mm -hmm. and he's on that like chair and he's got the, like the cloak. Mm -hmm. That is a reference to a comic book in the sixties. Well, that's cool. There's a shot for shot picture. It's awesome that they where did he, that. he yeah, yeah. I, I mean that. There's so many. There's a great video on YouTube right now about like the the, the seven or twelve Easter eggs, mm -hmm. and like if he didn't explain it to me, I would. I'm not that versed. What, what did you think of the Easter egg at the end? <laughs> Be more specific. Well, the, I, the 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 thirty seconds that they showed of an Easter egg leading into what was going. Oh, on. that was yeah, the the, I, the the nod to the yeah, gauntlet. Yeah. I see. Once again. That's I'm not that deep into the MCU. Yeah. So I couldn't. I mean, I know I know that the glove. Yeah. Is the Infinity Gauntlet. Mm -hmm. I know that that character's name is something that begins <laughs> with letters. Uh, Twenty six of those. Here's to be exact. Here, okay. Well, as okay. I, does anyone know? Uh, I just I felt like I feel like, I, like that, those I, mean, I don't know the universe told. like like some would, but I really felt like the Easter egg was not enough. I felt like it was. It wasn't like, like, like every Easter egg we've had at the end of any Marvel movie has been amazing, and and I just felt like this Easter egg was just left like, you a little flat. It was very flat. It was I very think, very. Flat. Honestly, and here's why. Here's why I'm going to say that. I think if Thanos, 
Thank you. There you go. You're welcome, America. <laughs> uh, Woo! Thanos. Uh, here's the interesting thing about Thanos. And yeah. they're not talking about it, but I think this is going to happen. Yeah. I think you were going to get um, a convergence between uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy yeah. and um, the Avengers. I think no, I at some point those two universes are going to collide. No, I agree. Uh, there's already another Marvel's movie... In the um, uh, an Avengers movie in the works, right? Like yes. I have to oh, yes. assume. Oh, yes. So what do we have? What do we got coming down the pike? We've got um, uh, Captain. Well, America. I, can, I can tell you, we have Captain America. Oh, coming, it's coming called out. the. There's a movie. Uh, it's called something. Um, the next Avengers They've already movie got the that we it. that we're going to see is the Avengers three, obviously. Yes. Um, it's going <laughs> to be. Right. Uh, Nothing inf- wrong with the number three. Uh, it'll be Infinity War Part One. Infinity That's part War. One. It's already broken up Infinity War. Parts yeah. Already. Yeah. Of right. course, yeah. yeah. They're gonna do that like that thing that it's all. Like Twilight. 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 They're like, oh, we're gonna shoot both yeah. of them. And I, cut every in the fr- and, okay. Yeah. See, the this Hobbit is, did. The Hobbit did it just fine. That's yeah. fine. No, yeah, they yeah, didn't. I agree. Yeah. It's funny you should mention that because that was the one I was gonna talk about. Okay. So long story short. There is this thing that's happening right now where they try to stretch a franchise. Yeah. Okay. The uh, and, and I actually like this movie franchise. I've never read the book. Um, Mocking Jay was it the uh, Hunger Games? Hunger Games. Games. Okay, I love. They're actually, I actually good. Cool. no, great book. Yeah. Did you read yeah. it? By the way, yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Have you read all of them? Yes. All Very good. You read, is yeah. the franchise over? Uh, book, uh, uh, the last one's yeah. coming up, part four. The, no, in the book format. Right, right. book format. The books, the books are done. The books are yeah. done. They're great, great yeah. series. Man. Great films. I, I have jokes. Um, I'm sure, of course, yeah. obviously, obviously. But as, I like as, always. Always. As, as, always. as always, as always. But I do enjoy Jennifer Lawrence. I love. Yeah, yeah. she yeah. kills it, man. She's, she's, she kills it. Easy yeah, on yeah, the eyes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's a good job. But here, here's my point: is that uh, there's this thing where, like, okay, so the, the, that franchise is a trilogy, correct? In book, in book format? Well, quadru- 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 yeah, whatever. In, in yeah. book format, I thought it was three. Four. Four. Oh, is it? Yeah. So and they're doing four movies? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, then I'm fine with that. Okay. Yeah. But what I'm saying is that there is this trend to stretch those out. Yes. The Hobbit should have been... It, the Hobbit was always intended yeah. to be a, a two film. Okay. Like, I want to say trilogy, but like there should be a word for that. Yeah. But, like, just two films, standalone... Uh, he had already done three films yeah. called The Lord of the Rings. Yeah. They were hugely successful. Very. I, I just I, I I would have enjoyed The Hobbit to be a more concise story. The book's not that big. No, no, it's not, not not three movies. Not maybe. not the original. And that's not, that's my issue with that. Issue. Um, Dylan, Dilbert, yeah. that's me. Robin, mm. um, we're, we're we're just pulling it back hard. Pull back, 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 yeah, back yeah, to the yeah. back to uh, Ultron. What I. Okay, this of oh, this movie, in my opinion, when I saw the first one, when I saw the first Avengers. Um, what I remember most from that movie are uh, was the action, mm-hmm. and I remember the transition scenes from each character to the next, and I remember that being something that I'd never really seen before in a movie before, and I remember looking at it and thinking, "Wow, this is pretty cool," yeah, you yeah. know. But and 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 they did it, and they opened right up with it in the next movie, and it was like they just catered to every single need that I had. I agree. And that was, and that's for me. And I don't know how many other people really felt the way that I felt. But obviously, there yeah. was some. There was yes, there were some plot uh, holes. There yes, it was made things, by Josh Whedon. There were some things Josh that didn't go correctly in the movie. <laughs> but overall, I wouldn't give it a seven. I'd give it. Uh, I'd give it higher than that, just because uh, there is no movie like it yeah. that I've seen that does the action that this movie does. You know, it, it comes from, it starts with Captain America simply throwing his shield at another enemy's face. Mm-hmm. And that sh- and the shield hits the enemy's face, and as it's coming off of that enemy's face, Black Widow catches it out of the air and throws yeah. it, and she throws it, and then well, the all of a sudden... The were amazing. Thor they were absolutely amazing. The way we talk about, like, the door from The Division is the way I want to talk about, like, the shield from this... Well, I mean, I get, like, like, the shield just, just had some... Time. I don't, like, don't want to interrupt you, but no. there, there's another spinoff that's been canceled that is based on the shield and everything else that's going on, and it just got shit-canned last night. Wait, what is that? Look. There was another spinoff that's happening. It was a TV spinoff. And it got from the Marvel universe, yep. what yep. was it? I, I do not know the name of it Ooh. right now, but it just it just literally came down the pipeline last night in the news saying that they already canceled the show before it even started. Has it, uh, so it has so it so hasn't started. Good, had, I think they had I, the cast. I actually think I know what it might be. They had the cast. They had everything in you know yeah. in play. I think I actually but it's know already what it been, might be. It's already been canceled. Yeah, I think I know which is kind of like. Uh, I'm seeing the small collapse on Marvel. No, bit. this is no, just it's a, not a no, big collapse. This it's is just a very small collapse. I think I think what you're seeing is the bubble of, of 
Well, you can only do it for so long. And yeah. Well, no, no, no. Like, like you know, like I don't want to say. Pops. Yeah. It's well, I don't happen. think the bubble. I think the bubble will pop. Yeah. And by that I mean, I think, uh, I think, the comic book thing is is hitting entropy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think I think we're hitting a finite a number mm-hmm. of of franchises that we can exploit and do successfully. Yeah. Right. Like I think all of these franchises warrant merit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But not not this quick. Right. And and okay, so TNT is doing Titans. Mm-hmm. But that's the show they're calling it. It's mm-hmm. Teen Titans. It's crazy to it's me that DC. TNT is doing it. I I'm not like okay, so I love Titans, guys, but I, I don't. Last, think this you should is watch good. the last shit. TNT's put some pretty good content out there. I I yeah I I don't disagree with that. Yeah. There's a, there's a lot they of did for years. Like. They're, they're picking it up. Yeah, um, but, but what I'm saying is that the market is about to be flooded. Yeah, and yeah. and we're looking at, I mean, from from the first Iron Man to Avengers two, mm-hmm. Marvel has put out uh, just on the cinematic front. Yeah. A huge amount of content. Oh yeah, yeah. At least six. And then you look at you look at the way you look at the way uh, their Netflix division is going. Which is, by the way, I I actually did some recon on this. It's called the Defenders. Mm -hmm. Here's the plan. Uh, Daredevil. Daredevil. Yeah. There's Daredevil. There's a a young woman who I don't know her name, but she was a superhero and then becomes a detective. Yeah. Uh, After that. I believe it's going to be Luke Cage. Yep. Or uh, and, and the Fist. And then after the that, fist, it's yeah. going to be Iron Fist. Right. Uh, who I'm the most familiar with. Mm-hmm. He gets his powers. For, it's like martial arts meets super soldier serum. Two of those actually fall in love with each other. Yes. Uh, Luke Cage and the female, Luke, obviously. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, maybe not obviously. Maybe they're going to go the other way. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, it's, it's, here's the thing. It's Netflix. Yeah. They might get real weird with it. They might. Yeah. And I'll be okay with that because I, I love tell. Netflix de- decisions. Yeah, yeah. Netflix has gone um, weird before and I love it. Okay, so... So, to kind of kind of wrap this up, you are where? Do, 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 okay, here's the question: Better or worse than the first? That was my uh, question. Uh, it was it was way better than the first. I was okay. I can what do you, you give the first then? If you give this, okay. Well, you knew that I did not like the first. I've, I've stated this many times. I was not a big yeah. fan of the first one. I, but, I don't but know. For like purposes of film, I didn't know that. <laughs> well, well, I mean, I mean. So this is all new intel. Here's here's the thing. Like, I I liked the first one. I actually went back and watched it a, a couple times, and I liked it more the second time. And yeah, that around. happens to me with a few. Films. I just didn't. I didn't care for it the first time. I don't know what it was. It just it felt that, like rushed. They felt like you know characters were put into place. But the way the second one began, I, I actually liked the cinematics, like the way they worked oh, together a lot yeah. better. But then when it came down to the acting portion where they were together with the dialogue, it, it felt... In the first one? No, in the second one. Okay. In, in the second one, it felt very... I kind of see that. It felt like they just didn't want to be there. Like the, like the acting wasn't on top. It wasn't, you know, it, it, it seemed like they all had something else to do. But then, but, you know, 15 minutes into it, it all took place and yeah, all worked. I think you so. start to you start to kind of get... I actually had that same problem with it, uh, it, Froggy and yeah, Daredevil. Daredevil, yeah. Uh, I felt like I, it took me a couple episodes to get used to him and yeah. the way he delivered lines. Okay, so let me ask you this: sure. Would you buy it? When, oh yeah, absolutely. So, so absolutely. this is something you enjoy. Yeah, I mean, I'll add it to my collection. I'll okay. watch it again, and I'll watch it again, and I'll keep okay. watching it. And I, I'm just picking it apart okay. from from what I saw, from yeah. what I observed, and like you know, to be honest with you, it, it was a great film. Mm-hmm. It was a great piece of cinematic you know work. But at the same a lot time. Of fun. A lot of fun. It was a lot of fun, but th- there was a few things that, like, I, as a director, if I was directing the film, I would have made sure the actors wanted to be there. And it just, it just. I would have slept of, with Scarlett Johansson. Well, we all would have. We all would have. Sorry, that's nice. my one and only sexist comment. Yeah, yeah. We uh, all okay, have. so where do you land on this? Um, is, is, is she a slut? Like everybody else says she is. And that's that's Black Widow. That's Black Widow. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, not, that's not Black Scarlet Widow. Widow. Let's, let's go with Black Widow. Is she a slut? Yeah, yeah, there you go. Let's just, let's just answer that now. Is, do you know how much trouble they got into? No, they got into a lot of trouble. But we won't. We won't get trouble for that. Okay, so would you buy the film? Scarlett Johansson is a saint. Okay, what about Black Widow? Black Widow is a temptress. That is <laughs> listen. That is a politician. That is gospel, right there. That is a politician that is in the making. Let, let me, Are you gonna uh, buy that movie? Are you gonna I, spend thirty dollars for the deluxe Blu-ray with 
little Captain America shield. This might be one piece. of those movies that I do spend that on. Yeah. Um, and I'm gonna and I'm just gonna kind of I'm just gonna kind of gravitate off of what Brandon was saying. Okay. And, and the fact where yeah, there are some movies that you can only watch once. Yeah. Really yeah. Oh yeah. Okay? That's absolutely. But this is one of those movies that I could probably watch 50 times in yeah. one single would, time. I would go again. I would watch it. I plan on going. It was really, it was really good. It was worth seeing an IMAX. It it was such a, it was a very good action-filled man movie. It was great. I loved it. I I would see it again. It had the humor. It had the action. Yeah, everything. I gotta be honest. Here's what I'm gonna say. It is, and this is kind of my final thought on it. I don't don't think I spoke. I was. You guys, I mean, it was a great movie. You don't, not, normally, you don't not, normally sweat this much when you talk about movies. You're I, sweating I'm a lot talking about Because you movie. keep talking about fucking... <laughs> you keep talking about the Black Widow. Obviously, I'm going to sweat. Last, last, not better than the first. Uh, I thought it was, well... Not better than the first? Not really? better. Not better. Really? I, okay. loved, I yeah. loved the first movie, man. Yeah. Was, those those two I, uh, I think it's a, it's a brilliant piece of cinema. Better this, than the first or second? I think I liked it a little more so than, the, I than, agree. The, than the first. Uh, but here's the thing. Uh, last last fun fact. The top three grossing movies yeah. of all time are run by Marvel. Yes. So that's that's what I'm going to say. Yeah. I'm going to say that the, uh, the, the three most profitable movies of all time and I, I could, are Avengers, yeah. Avengers 2, yeah. and I believe Iron Man 3. I think it was. Actually. Or Iron, yeah, either. It's, yeah. One, it's, it's one of Iron Man three. Yeah. Yeah. It was Iron Man so two. So the, the, yeah, top, the, the top Iron three, the top three seeds, are by Marvel. 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 Yeah, that's, that's um, kingship. If you ask me. DC, what's up? 